Thomas and Percy had to take some empty freight cars to the scrapyards. In a siding, they saw an old coach. She looked very sad. What are you doing here? Something that always caught my eye in the sets of the classic Thomas and Friends series were the numerous amount of scrap locomotives that were scattered around and shown at different parts and locations on the island. At first, I wanted to make this video a history of video, where I explained where the scrap engines were made and stuff like that. However, it's a story you guys already know. Most of these scrap engines are built the same as the actual engines, just no longer being used and repainted for scrap dressing. So really, for the most part, we know how they were made, but what I also find interesting is how many of them there are, and some of the basis that these scrap locomotives actually take. So instead, I thought it'd be fun to talk about each of these scrap locomotives, and do my best to identify every single one that we can. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we take a look at the scrap engines. The first locomotives on our list technically aren't Sodor locomotives. A lot of you guys may remember this illustration from the Railway series. I definitely know I do, as a kid it was pretty scary to see. But these scrap engines appeared in the second illustration of Stepney the Bluebell engine. All four have visibly lost their paint and are waiting in a siding to be scrapped, watching the cutter as he primes his torch. The engine on the left seems to be a GWR 2251 class 060 tender engine, while the engine on the right seems to be an LNWR 18XX062 tank engine, with its trailing wheels, bunker, and back end already cut off. On the same track, the engine behind the engine on the right seems to be another tank engine, with its smoke box door and side tanks already completely removed. On the far right, the fourth engine appears to be a tank engine as well. The boiler of an engine is also seen being lifted up by a crane in the background. From that, however, we move on to Sodor scrap engines. These engines are mostly seen around the scrapyards, and like I said previously, are based on models of existing characters, oftentimes being just that. These included Thomas, Gordon, Donald, or Douglas, and City of Truro. The Marklin engine is also one of these scrapped engines. The basis for these include LBSCR E2s, the same as Thomas, GNR A1s, the same as Gordon, Caledonian Railway H12s, the same as Donald and Douglas, and of course the GWR City class, which is City of Truro. There's also the DRG Class 80, which is the same class as the Marklin engine, and a Hinschel DHG Class 500 diesel. There aren't just locomotives, however. Some of you guys may remember Henry Special Tenders, which are also scrap tenders, and these are based on the LNER Gresley and Thompson 4200 gallon tenders. But there's not just locomotives and tenders, there's also rolling stock. And there are also GWR 16 ton towed brake vans and tankers that are scattered around as well. From this we move on to the old shed engine which first appeared in Thomas and the Tiger, a short mini book. This engine was seen in an old shed near the station that is used for storage and is seen with a cobweb around its funnel. It's unknown what class this engine is based on though it appears to be a 260 very much like James. There was also a scrap locomotive that appeared in the magazines, this being known as the Erie Engine, which appeared in the appropriately named story Erie Engine. In this magazine story, the Erie Engine appears in Thomas's dream after he visits the scrapyard one day. In the dream, the Erie Engine rattled down the main line blowing their wonky whistle, and soon a scrap engine just like the one from Thomas's dream was later put together from old parts, this being at the scrapyard by a sculptor, and was then put into a modern art exhibition. The engine itself doesn't appear to be based on any specific design. And from here, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to CGI, for an appearance that I myself largely forgot about, this being the American engine seen in Big World Big Adventures. After Thomas crashes near the Grand Canyon, Bo laughs about an engine who had crashed and been left to rust. Some interesting trivia about this model is this engine is actually reused from Burt, just modified to look well scrapped. This also is the only appearance of a scrapped engine in the CGI series, along with the Marklin engine in Blue Mountain Mystery. Also, for unknown reasons, this engine is completely absent in the US version. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the scrap engines we've seen in the series. As unnerving as it may be to have a dead locomotive on the side of the tracks, in Thomas and Friends, it would always serve as this darker tone, and for me as a kid, sold that the locomotives were, well, just that, locomotives, and had dangers presented above what the show showed us. It was also a great look into real life, and helped to expose me to the reality of steam engines, that being that the majority of them were scrapped, and that it was very possible for the same to happen to the characters that I was watching. Again, as dark as that may be, it definitely served as a good plot device, and a serious point of interest for me, as we would always see the happy parts of these locomotives' lives, seeing the negative, more scary part was definitely a bit jarring, but also made it believable, and brought real life situations perfectly into a kid's show. And while I may be overanalyzing set pieces that were just thrown around, hopefully Hopefully you guys still enjoyed figuring out about the scrap engines, and if there's anything I missed, be sure to comment down below.
As always guys, thanks again for watching. And hopefully this kind of makes up for Tencent's taking the history of video this week. I know a lot of people weren't happy that it went to a Tugs character, but don't worry guys, I promise that doesn't mean we're done with Thomas and Friends content or anything like that. I just thought it'd be fun to try out something a little different, but still wanted to make this video since if I'm honest, it's just as interesting to me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed learning about them as much as I did. As always guys, thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. You to take away. Excuse me, said Percy's driver. Can you tell us about this coach? Old slow coach. She's been here for years. She'll be broken up when we find the time. The engines were dismayed. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.